How many patients? This is page one, page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pages, one day. And uh, usually we have four clinicians. In the setting with limited healthcare resources, limited human resources for health, one physician for about every 50,000 of population, no shortage of problems to solve. The whole genesis of the project really goes back to the roots of, of Dignitas. When we began working in Malawi, we realized that there was a health system that not only was struggling to cope with this massive burden of disease, but also was struggling to actually provide to its staff the training necessary so that they could provide treatment that actually was available. POM Plus stands for the practical approach to lung health plus HIV and AIDS. It's actually a guideline and a tool that we use to, to help health workers provide better quality of care in primary settings. POM is an approach to solving problems related to the human resources for health crisis in a few different ways. First of all, it's an attempt to take disease-specific treatment guidelines that exist in isolation from each other currently and bring them together. Symptoms, he's coughing for more than two weeks. Since he, he can see that his pants are loose, that means he's losing weight. We developed this in conjunction with, with partners, both locally in Malawi and internationally in South Africa and elsewhere. We developed a very innovative tool, which is a set of clinical guidelines, which simplifies existing national guidelines in Malawi. What we've done is taken these guidelines that are, in many cases, uh, large volumes, hundreds of pages, uh, and inconsistent between each other in some cases, and weave them together into an algorithmic, graphically presented guideline, very easy to follow and easy for the care providers to take into their daily practice and use it to treat people. And we take them directly to the healthcare workers in the settings where they work, in the rural parts of Malawi, and, and train them directly on site. This is the tool, but it's also an approach to the training. We've trained master trainers who are nurses and clinical officers and medical assistants, the very peers of the people that they'll be training. We've trained them in turn to train facility-based trainers. So it's a cascade model where a very few master trainers can mobilize many, many facility trainers who can then train all of the health staff at their own facilities. This is called the educational outreach model of training and uh, it's uh, been rigorously tested, scientifically validated as an effective means of training and we're implementing it now in Zomba. If you're providing clinical service in a health center in Zomba district, we're going to train you in the STAT-POM guidelines. We have helped her with the treatment of AVD, which is the abnormal vaginal discharge. Uh, we have advised our clients. Symptom orientated, which means if you are having a headache, you just go to the page for headache. And you can see everything there and you help your patient. If someone presents with a cough, then the care provider can look at the algorithmic guideline and know step by step what questions to ask, what to look for. The care provider isn't just going to think in terms of tuberculosis. They're going to know to ask questions related to HIV status. They're going to know to send someone for an HIV test if that's indicated. If you have got a big population which is getting tested and knowing their results, which means people, they can change their behavior. POM right now in Zomba is being tested through a randomized controlled trial uh, supported by IDRC and, and other agencies of the Government of Canada. The pilot study we have intervention sites and we have control sites. These are the, the intervention sites, which are 14. Zomba has a total of 31 health center or health facilities. Half of these sites, the intervention sites, are getting the POM training early 
and then we're looking for differences in health outcomes between the, the palm sites and the control sites. If our results and evidence shows anything of what the South African Pulsa Plus, we should be seeing significant changes. We believe this is really going to result in not only better patient care, but actually a better staff satisfaction, better staff capacity, and ultimately a stronger healthcare system.